All right, guys, so here we are. Wanted to provide another lesson in the Minutoyo CMM. However, I come in here and this has happened. So we come over here, cut the power on, we watch. We normally get the ABSO, but we get this. Everything is lit up. We got a CDL error code. Nothing. Nothing's working. I can't get anything. Of course, that's our error code. But I cannot get it to do anything. Nothing. The only thing I can do is cut it off. And that's it. So now, so this video is going to be about trying to help you solve error problems whenever you have um, any kind of issue. So from here, I will go to my computer and I will show you a great resource to help you figure some things out. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you have an issue like that, let me show you a cool place to go to so and i just discovered this several months ago and it's helped me out tremendously all right so type in cmm guys and let's go here and it pops up like this cmm guys this website that's a basically a forum cmm guys forum has all of these you can filter it by Hexagon, Redishaw, DEA, Brown & Sharp, Mutatoyo, Zeiss. Um, it has all these different ones. And if you go to the main one, they've got, just like most any forum, general software, hardware issues, um, optical comparators, part fixturing, custom code, CAD software. You know, it's like most any forums you're familiar with. So... What I'm going to do, and of course I've already created an account, and I will tell you with this forum, you have to create an account before you can do much of anything. You really can't even look around hardly. So I want to search. Where is my search bar? Uh, anyway, let's just go to general. And if you notice when you click on general, it says the classroom. So let's, I just want to search, and I have had to figure out how so i had a cdl error code the machine would not do anything so i went to and then you can see some of them i have tried searching for and i went to krista error because it's a krista apex and there's an error search and still didn't find it come up here krista I don't know. Oh, look. Fourth one down, CDL error. So someone has ran into this before. So I just click it and I can read. I don't know any of these guys. I'm just new to this forum. I turned, I see him. By the way, this guy's not me. I turned, I see him on in this morning. If it won't start to do this, does anyone know what the problem is? The movement sensor has been tripped. I didn't even know there was one in there. Have you moved the CMM or the batteries may have ran out? We have not moved our CMM. Uh, reading through this, either way you need to call Minutoya and tell them they can come out and get your code. Uh, blah, 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 read this. Basically, I need a service guy. Uh, from CDL showing you have a five day grace period to turn it on and wait 30 seconds. Then it will come on to ABSO A650, however you want to see it. We've talked about that in the past. I can tell you our machine has not been touched. It has not been bumped with a, with a forklift. It is sat in that room. We have not had an earthquake here. Um, but it seems like there's an air, there's a, a, a movement sensor. But if the batteries may have ran out, that's possibly what has happened. Um, so... Either way, our machine is dead in the water right now. We cannot use it. 
Um, I know we don't have a five day grace period because quite frankly, it had been like three weeks before I even went in there to cut the thing up. So that's one reason you really haven't seen me having any videos out. Um, so right now I have emailed Meditoyo. I have a PO issue and they will have a service guy out here soon to fix it. Um, it's not something I could fix, but I, anyway, this video, I just thought I'd show y'all a pretty cool resource, CMM guys, and whether you're using a Meditoyo, Zeiss, Brown and Sharp, Hexagon, whatever, um, you can find out a lot of information in this website. Um, things that I don't know that I'm trying to, uh, let's face it, the reason I put out these videos is we're all in this thing together. We're all trying to figure out you know how to get by all this stuff so it's a learning community so anyway that's it for this video i appreciate y'all watching